Now I absolutely love taking things apart to see how they work. So this video is a little follow up on the video that I made when I changed the water pump in my van. I exchanged my 10 pound water pump for a 60 pound water pump. And I have to say that water pump is performing absolutely perfectly. But why did my 10 pound water pump fail? So today I'm going to be taking this apart, seeing how it works. And I thought I'd film this process because some of you may find it interesting. I'd be really interested to see why this became really noisy. Although the performance was still okay. It was just the fact that it was making an absolute horrendous noise. Which to me indicated that it was about to fail. So let's take it apart and have a look how this thing actually works. And the first thing I've noticed looking at this is that it has actually got a blocked inlet. So let's have a look at this. It's got a think it's got a filter in there so the first thing I'm going to do is take the filter out and see if there's anything actually blocking this pump maybe that's all I needed to do <laughs> I could have saved myself a few a few quid so let's take the filter out and then we'll strip the rest of the pump down just to see how it actually worked this I think I need my little tweezers in my cutlery drawer let's take a look at it now I think I've got a pair of tweezers inside here. I've had this little Swiss Army knife for God knows how long, probably since I was about 18 years old. It's been all around the world with me. Served me well. Let's have a look in here. There you go, look, you can see the hole is clearly blocked. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> there is some stuff in there. I hope that's not all that's wrong with it. So we can get the filter out. There you go. There's actually a little cone filter inside. I didn't even realise that was in there. So there we are. A little bit of fluff. I don't think that would have stopped it working and make it make a lot of noise. Let's get me trusty multi-tool. By the way, I used to make these in a previous life. I used to have a plastic moulding company. Long time ago. I've got bored with it. Plastic moulding is a really boring occupation. <laughs> Let's take this front cover off because this is the easiest one to take off. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing, can you? Let's point the camera down a bit so you can see what I'm actually doing. I like these screwdrivers because it's big and chunky and I've got a bit of a messed up hand. I can grip it easy. That's why I do like these. Okay, so that's five screws taken out. Let's see if we can prise this lid off. Might need another knife for that. Oh, got another multi-tool here. I don't recommend doing this by the way. <laughs> here we go, let's just be careful. There's a little spring there. Little valve there, that coming out of there, another one there. Oh, no, that must come out the other side. Right, let's flip it over. I think we'll have to take the top off. So that's the that's the switch that turns it on and off the micro switch oh don't lose that I'm just undoing this to get these wires clear of this back plate here let's take all these screws out Just 
just as a side note, there are signs here that there's water escaping. There's rust underneath this seal. You can see the rust around here. Maybe it was leaking at some point. Maybe it did start leaking. So we'll take we'll take the whole pump head off, I think, off the motor. Let's just take this off first. See if there's anything under here we can see. Okay, so this looks pretty much the same. And then on the casing here, you can see the arrow of direction of flow. Another spring that came out of that chamber. And let's see if that comes out of there. Still can't see the any signs of where that one come out of there. So we'll put that back in there. Again, that one's not going anywhere. I just wonder if this comes out. Oh, there we go. Look, it's a rubber. Seal. Is it going to come out? <laughs> Got a bit of water there. I'm straight on my foot, that water. Oh, yeah, I can see rust underneath this. It does look rusty. Definitely not going to come off of there. Maybe we have to separate from the actual motor. There's two screws here, straight in my thumb. Let's take it right apart. These are long. Look how long these screws are. <laughs> That's a long screw right there. Goodness me, that is rusty. Look at that. Those wires are trapped in there. Some kind of clip there. So that's the body, look inside there, that is full of rust in there. So there's definitely some kind of leaking seal here. Maybe that's why it was making so much noise. I don't think that comes off of there. Oh it does, oh there you go. That's coming apart. <laughs> look at that. I think that was definitely destined to fail. Yeah. The bearing is completely shot. Look at that, yeah. It's really gone loose on the shaft. So that's why, definitely why it was making a lot of noise. Yeah, look at the crud in there. 
There you go. So that is offset. So that would vibrate because it's offset anyway. That's probably why they vibrate so much because it's like a counterweight that's offset. And then that, by the looks of it, makes that go to and fro. Yeah, which is completely seized up. Can't move anything inside there. Nothing in there is moving now. It is completely seized. So let's carry on, strip this down, see what actually see what's going on. First I want to get some tissue. Oh my table. I think it's safe to say this is never going to work again and I think definitely made the right call in changing it So this diaphragm on the top of the pump pushes against this diaphragm in the switch module so as the pressure in the line builds up this diaphragm will lift it then pushes against this you can see there's very little movement you can just see that moves in and out there the water pressure is enough to move that and in turn that pushes against this micro switch in the top which turns the pump on and off so as the pressure builds up, it simply pushes against that and turns the micro switch off. When you open your tap, the pressure is released, micro switch is released, turns on the pump. That part of this pump I do understand. <laughs> the rest of it, however, that's another story. This must move side to side inside there, although it doesn't anymore. <laughs> it's completely solid. So let's see if we can get these rubbers off. Have a look what goes on inside here. It'll be really interesting to see how this used to work. Oh, that is not coming off of there. Not without a fight, anyway. It's going to force this off because it doesn't matter, it's not going to go back together, is it? At the end of the day, it is absolutely buggered. Oh, there we go. I'm still none the wiser. Lots of little clips. Yeah, look at that. Ah, oh, it goes up and down, it jiggles it side to side. There we go. None the wiser how this actually works. <laughs> so, a simple matter of yeah, I can see how this works now. Right, so it's hydraulic, it's basically it's simple hydraulics. This moves from side to side inside the pump like that, and it causes if I put this back. <laughs> it basically it forces water from one chamber to the other side by side but by using a side by side motion and these one way valves so one of these valves will be facing one way and the other valve will be facing the other way so as this oscillates to and fro water will can only travel in one direction and that's what makes the pump work I think but there you go it either way it definitely needed changing 
Well, there you are. That's my pump stripped down. It was definitely in a state of disrepair. Um, as you can see, rust got the better of it. This bearing had failed, which ultimately is why it was so noisy. I dare say it would have probably carried on running for a little while longer, but not much longer. <laughs> so I'm, I'm really pleased I changed it. But at the end of the day, all of this for under a tenner, this pump was when I first bought it new. They're actually around about 12 quid now, I did check. But again, for 12 quid, how do they make these things so cheaply? It's beyond me. So there you are, that's what goes into a £10 water pump that actually lasted me two years before it ended up in this state. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, if you found this video entertaining, mildly informative, then please do give me a thumbs up. Ugh. And I'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Ta-da for now. Stay in my table. Jeez, oh, I've got to clean this mess up now.